In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually create exit pop-ups or exit intentional pop-ups in your Kajabi account to actually capture emails or capture leads or get somebody to take action before they leave browsing your website. And yes, it is a question that I do get asked from some of my students, how I create my exit pop-ups over creating timed pop-ups or any other pop-ups. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So hey there, Tim here. I've created multiple businesses using the Kajabi platform and I've sold multiple six figures worth of product using this same platform. And for today's video, just to walk you through how I use Exit Pops, I'm gonna dive straight on into my Kajabi platform. So here I am inside my Kajabi and a couple of things to note then. The difference is, first of all, what is an Exit Pop? It, it is a pop-up window that you've probably seen when you're browsing websites that actually pop up and ask you for typically an email or to go and do something. Now the difference between an exit pop or a timed pop, these are um, intentional based if you're doing an exit pop. So if I was to browse a website and then I finish browsing, I navigate away from that page to actually leave, then an exit pop might occur. If I was to jump on a website and then within the first few seconds, uh, a window will appear, those are timed pops. They're not intentional based and that's why I think it might get quite annoying for people browsing on your website before they've actually got what they need. There's a timed pop-up. So that's why I prefer um, using exit pops. Now, all you need to do in your uh, dashboard, click over to website and then design, click into customize page. Now, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of here. Once you're actually building out your exit pops or your pop-ups within your system pages or within your website pages, it applies to all of them. So. This is why I'm a big fan of trying to use as much as of these website pages as possible, because if you make one change to this stack, then it gets applied throughout all of your website pages. So you only have to edit that once. If you're doing this for a landing page, you'll have to do this for every single landing page because all landing pages are independent. So I'm gonna show you how to do this for my system pages and then it would populate across all of my system pages. So before I actually get into this, you have to ask yourself, do you want to use an exit pop or do you want to use a time pop? I personally prefer exit pops because they're more intentional based, like I just said. But if you're actually going to apply this to your website, you have to ask yourself, what am I doing this for? How am I optimizing my website? You might have heard that term before. You should have an optimized website, but you need to understand what your website is optimized for. It's not just say, it's not no good just saying you need to have an optimized website. I like to optimize my website, every single page for lead generation. So email capture, because I believe that email marketing is still the number one marketing method there is. So every single page on my website, I've gone through and made sure that there either is uh, either an exit pop or a form embedded into each and every single page to try and either capture email or secondly, try and sell something. So you've got to ask yourself this, like, is this action I am doing either going to grow my email list or grow my sales? If it's not either growing your email list or growing your sales, why are you doing this action in the first place? So this tactic is obviously about growing your email and all you need to do is navigate down to the left hand side. So under the sections bar down here, you've got a little exit pop here. So click on that exit pop and all you have to do is uh, to edit the exit pop, your little check mark here and mine will pop up here. All it is is just a window that pops up and it's offering them my my free five steps to five step system to ger generate online revenue. So all they have to do is fill in their email, click download, and then this form will then deliver the PDF. So it will go to a thank you page, but actually it'll tell them to go and check their email and they'll actually get this form. So the first thing you need to do is um, decide how wide you want this uh, width of your window. Uh, sometimes it might look a bit small if it's too small. Um, I've got it on a 10 width. And then the form, I've simply uh, embedded my five steps form and then it goes to my standard thank you page. Now here with the text, uh, you've got to be try, try and be quite enticing here. So wait, grab your free guide. So before you go, so this is someone's navigating around my website. So if I was to click into new incognito, click onto my website. So yeah, someone's navigating around my website, going from page to page, but then they navigate away, this form will pop up. That is a timed, or sorry, not a timed, that is an exit pop. So this is when someone goes to exit your page, it pops up. 
So you need to have something that's enticing, something that is relevant, and something that you think that your audience will want. So this is why I'm just actually pitching my, my free lead magnet, my free guide for or in exchange of their email. And again, just a simple download now button. But again, GDPR, when you sign up, we'll be sending you weekly emails and additional free content. This is a single opt-in. This is just to let them know that we're going to be following up with them for other emails. Like I say, I believe in email marketing and I'd rather have the relationship rather than the sale. So the relationship over time rather than an immediate sale today. So this is how I've actually built this out as the disclaimer text. And then you can actually click preview to see how it plays out. And then again, you can test it out here. So you need to actually go back and then click enable exit pop if you want this to be enabled on all of, remember all of your system pages and then uncheck edit exit pop before you leave to actually make sure that it is not there on every single page when somebody visits your website. So that is really simple how to do that. So make sure, again, if you're doing this for landing pages, you need to go through and do this for every single landing page. Go to exit pop up, edit the exit pop, enable it, and then actually uncheck, uncheck the exit pop. So it's good to go. So that's it. It's as quick and simple as that. Just make sure you're asking yourself the question. First of all, do I want an exit pop up on my website or do I want a timed pop up? I know which one. I would choose over the other and then ask yourself is my website optimized and optimized for my recommendation would be for email for lead capture so go through and have a look at every single page of your website if it's not optimized for email capture you should be asking for the sale and if it's not doing one of those two you need to make some changes and of course all of this is made stupidly simple with the platform of choice of mine which is Kajabi and I can get you an extended 30-day free trial if you want to test out this platform for free, head over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi, where you'll see all the offers and benefits that I'm offering currently. And the first one is if you use my link to sign up for Kajabi, I can grant you a free mini course called Kajabi Unbox. This is what you need to do to actually set up your Kajabi in the right way, your account, uh, first, second, and third, to actually try and make some sales within 30 days. It's a challenge from me to you, but I believe you can do it. And if you do stick around to become a paying member of Kajabi, I'll grant you another mini course, which is my sales page templates. These are Kajabi templates, which you can simply download from the course and upload them into your Kajabi account and use the sales page templates that I use today. Full disclosure, this is an affiliate link. So if you do stick around to become a paying member of Kajabi, it just means a small part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So hopefully that all makes sense to you and, and this video has provided value and I look forward to seeing you again on another one real soon.